This is just a fantastic opportunity for us to celebrate how far we've come. We have really deserved a party tonight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Because we're culminating months of incredible effort. Incredible effort. Hours and days and months of effort and joy associated with that effort. One of the earliest events that I remember was when our volunteers prepared a volunteer sign-up sheet. And it had on it this quote. Judith, I think either you were here in response to this quote from Dr. Thomas Fuller. He that would have the fruit must climb the tree. Well, we have been climbing that tree. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight we are eating the fruit. If you hosted a party for the Burner campaign, would you please raise your hand? If you helped with a Burner party, would you please raise your hand? If you helped with a straight talk, which was one of our community forums, could you raise your hand? If you attended a house party or a straight <laughs> talk, please raise your hand. If you put together written materials, logos, or advertising, <laughs> would you please raise your hand? <laughs> if you went doorbelling, raise your hand. If you went sign waving, raise your hand. <laughs> if you placed signs in people's yards or long roadways, if you had a sign in your yard or in front of your house, if you made phone calls on behalf of the Burner campaign, if you left message for me with precious little voices shouting, Mary Burner, Mary Burner. <laughs> If you were a patient in the hospital who, while being wheeled down the corridor, <laughs> was campaigning for Mary Verner, <laughs> if you were Mary's next door neighbor who was called upon by the EMTs and couldn't help but campaign to the EMTs, would you please raise your hand? <laughs> If you were involved in our email distribution tree, please raise your hand. Passing out information on behalf of the Burner campaign through that free distribution service. If you wore campaign buttons, please raise your hand. <laughs> if you made the campaign button, where are you saying? <laughs> Yay! Okay, thank you. If you made or sported a bumper sticker on your vehicle, please raise your hand. Thank you very much. If you gave me your endorsement, please raise your hand. <laughs> wow. If you made a contribution of any size out of your pocketbook to this campaign, please raise your hand. <coughs> if you gave your candidate a poem or a photo or a, an inspirational remark, please raise your hand. <laughs> All of you inspired me. And when I felt knocked around a little bit, you inspired me more. If you voted for Mary Burner, would you please raise your hand? <laughs> you are the champion. Thank you, Team Burner. Thank you so much. I want to bring forward some exceptionally helpful individuals, and they were the individuals who served on my steering committee. With those of you who are on the Mary Burner Steering Committee, please just stand where you are, if you're able to stand, because you deserve some extra special recognition. Those of you who saw it If you are a member of what we've now come to affectionately call the first family, <laughs> would you please stand, including my son, whom everybody likes. During my campaign, I repeatedly reminded my supporters that I was making only one campaign promise. And that promise was made to Deb Louie of Caldwell Tribal Clans and Elders. And I told Deb that I would do my best effort to take care of our homeless veterans. And I will. I'm making only one election night promise. And you must hold me to it. 
I won't forget where I came from, and I won't forget where we have been, and I won't forget where we are going. <laughs> From our first garden party at Martha Creek's house <laughs> to the first straight talk at the community building all the way to the last one at Eagle Ridge last weekend, we have enjoyed both undeserved inspiration and undeserved denigration. And in the end, our opponents began to mimic our messages. Do you remember when we first kicked off this campaign in the rain in Riverfront Park? And I told you that the themes of this campaign were going to be all of the people of Spokane. This beautiful place that we stand on with this beautiful river running through it. And the purpose of government, which is to serve our community. And although we were ridiculed for those campaign themes at first, we began to hear them again at the end of our campaign. And that's because these are the messages that resonate with our community. And while others may have come to know that that's what our community wants, that's where Team Burner started, and that's where we're winding up tonight. And I thank you so much for sticking with me, sticking with this campaign theme, knowing that this is what our campaign really was all about, and it will be all about. I would like to acknowledge here the presence of some great leaders, and they really have been my mentors for many years. And those are the tribal council members who are here, my tribal co-workers at Upper Columbia United Tribe, and the folks who taught me for many years at the Spokane Tribe. They taught me about being in public service. They taught me that holding an elected office is a great honor and should be something that we treat with great trust. And that when the people call upon us to serve and ask us to serve, then we really don't have much choice. We have to buck it up grow some thick skin and serve. So I thank you very much to my tribal friends and elders for teaching me that along the way and for holding me accountable for the lessons that you taught me. We're going to see some election results in a few minutes and I really don't know. I'm not a betting person. I have no idea. But one thing I do know, we have worked our tails off. We have done everything we possibly could do to get out the vote and make it a vote for Vernon. We have kept our campaign honest and above board. We have been respectful of others and we've kept our self-respect. And for that, folks, we are winners. I don't care what the result. Someone much wiser than I said, where our words are, there are our hearts also. So we've been pretty careful with our words. We tried to be. And we've tried to remain focused on the positive. After all, our campaign logo is positive leadership for Spokane's future. And that's what we're committed to. Positive, responsible, inclusive, decisive, and experienced leadership. That's what we want to bring to the mayor's office in the city of Spokane. I have been visited by campaign angels on numerous occasions throughout this experience. I'm not delirious. Sincerely, angels have shown up and put food in my freezer, raked my leaves, walked my dog, been outside waving in 20 degree temperatures, but gone doorbelling. I don't even know what all you've done to me. I just don't even know. Only you know. And I am so appreciative of all the things that you've done. I'm going to mix church and state a little bit here to give credit where credit is due because really, to God be the glory. This has been amazing. Up so we can get on with party. That's why I came here tonight, with the party. I'll close with these words of wisdom from Eleanor Roosevelt. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. So let's open the present. Get back to the party.